Nocturnal's realm. Gotta be nearing the top of this damn thing. Creepy voice. We have to keep going. Enough. My mistress can't be interrupted. Her work is too important. Give me the damn Dawnbreaker back. Come and get it! Dawnbreaker was never intended for you. Uh, Meridia's magic is gone. The blade isn't yours anymore either. We'll see about that. Join Meridia in my eternal darkness. We are not dying like this. That worked. I mean, I mean, I mean, of course it worked. Nocturnal's Earl was wrong. Meridia's power, it's not gone. Her magic remains strong and vibrant. The vessel, the last light of Meridia. It's me. I finally understand everything Meridia told me. Her power, it's inside me. Then this is even better. You can use the restored Dawnbreaker to save the world. I just won't be around to see it happen. I'm saying you've got this. 
Whenever a threat appears, you bring the champions together. You find a way to win. I'm returning the last of Meridia's power to the Blade, so you can stop Nocturnal. I wouldn't do this for anyone else. Thank you. For everything. The tower crystal is almost whole. You're too late, mortal.
supposed to be mine. Defenses no longer keep me out. Are you here, my friend? You, you did it. I'm transparent law. It's a hole again. I didn't think that was possible, and you stopped Nocturnal. You're back upon Somerset, my friend. The tower itself, it reformed. But, but where's Darian? And Lathan? Of course, when you restored the tower crystal, it most likely expelled Nocturnal back to her own realm. Lathan. I'll... I'll mourn for Lathan later. I'm just glad he helped you. He would have made our daughter proud. As I predicted, your efforts were successful. A slight chance is all probability requires. There is no such thing as impossible odds. You are proof of that. Was that Meridia's plan all along? Perhaps, perhaps not. Your perseverance paid off, however. Life and death, it's all part of the ongoing circle. As long as you remember them. They will never be forgotten. It took Nocturnal hundreds of years to put all the pieces of her plan into place. And you wiped it all out with a single thrust of the Dawnbreaker. There will be other plans, I'm sure. But this particular threat is over. Next. Every action we take can tip the balance of the flow of time. Bask in the moment and realize that you have done well, my mortal friend. You have saved the Crystal Tower, saved Somerset, saved reality itself. For now, I must attend to other matters. We still have work to do, my friend. I'm afraid we still have work to do. While the Crystal Tower is protected against Daedra, any mortal can now walk right through its gates. It will take an influence far stronger than you and I. We've already seen the devastation that's possible when the tower falls into the wrong hands. Go and tell Oriandra of my plan. She'll know which parties to contact. I'd also like to ask Sotha Seal to join us. His support. Honestly, I haven't yet had a moment to process all that happened. There's still. It's good to see you alive and well. Word has already spread about your daring exploits within the Crystal Tower. It's still a little hard to believe, truth be told. Of course. That doesn't sound good. Is there another crisis I have yet to be informed about? 
I'd almost rather deal with another crisis than try to convince the Sapiarchs. Still, it will be done. Sotha seals in his study, preparing to depart. He never... Here you are again. The time has come for my departure. I've always felt a sense of peace in our tame, but also discomfort. While you confronted Nocturnal, I worked within the shadow of your efforts. Negotiations with both Clavicus Vile and Mafala were held, and a compromise was decided upon. Knowing the nature of Daedra, I doubt that shall be the case. However, any direct interference within Nern should cease. Perhaps. She likely contemplates her next course of action even now, given such a defeat. It may be centuries before she makes another attempt. Then again, could be days. I must decline. Valserin may see me as an ally, but to Somerset, I am a foreign interloper. An enemy of the state. My participation would not be welcome. And so the gears turn once more. Ever changing, yet ever the same. With you always in the center, it seems. I take no pleasure in such distractions from my work. Still, I would not dislike it if we spoke again. Farewell. I have said, the proxy <gasps> queen is unable to hold an audience with petitioners at this time. There are other affairs that require her attention. The proxy queen is unable to hold an audience with petitioners at this time. There are other affairs that require her attention. Finally, you arrived. We were able to gather everyone together, but they've already started the meeting. To be honest, not great. Even the Proxy Queen is hesitant to accept our request. Everyone's gathered in the Council Chamber. You should go inside. You can't make such demands. The Sapiarchs are the keepers of the Crystal Tower. This is about more than the College of Sapiarchs, Lana Teal. If Raz could intervene, 
Perhaps we should hear from our newly arrived friend. We concur with Razumdar. Let us hear what the adventurer has to say. The Sapiarchs recognize your bravery on our behalf in Lalandril and within the Crystal Tower, but there so Valsarin claims. If this is true, the College shall institute new measures to protect the Tower. That is well within our capabilities. Perhaps you're right, but the Sapiarchs did not cause these events. The Sigic Order did. My people died protecting the Crystal Tower. Be that as it may, the Sapiarchs will continue to do as we always have. We shall protect the Crystal Tower. In That's your opinion. You are a newcomer. I have no reason to believe that you have Somerset's best interests in mind. For Their metal time and time again. Raz thinks you should hear about these deeds. Oriandra, admit our guests now, yes? What are you up to, Razumdar? I will vouch for this adventurer. While I was blinded by prejudice and hate, their actions saved Shimmerine. Sapiarch, you know me. My son rejected the Queen's decree and suffered the consequences. This newcomer saved Relenville. Though the Sapiarchs and Mages Guild do not always see eye to eye, you know my reputation. This adventurer saved my life, and I affirm their bravery and honor. We have heard enough. We accept that the adventurer is trustworthy. Sapiarch Larnatil, listen to what they have to say. I apologize for my assumptions. It's clear you've done much good for Somerset and its people. I can't deny the truth of your words. Very well. Henceforth, the Sapiarchs will accept outside aid in order to best protect the Crystal Tower. I promise we will work with the Proxy Queen to make sure the Crystal Tower remains safe. I'll begin... Raz is sure there are many more details to work out, but for now, this one just wants a very strong drink. If you would wait a moment, my friend, I'd like to talk privately. Thank you for helping me win this last battle. While the Sigic Order will not be among those protecting the Crystal Tower, we will continue to observe from afar. We never meant to take such a direct role in events. We're observers, watchers. We lend a hand, guide fate, but never directly shape it. Besides, I need to return to Arteum and take up the mantle of Right Master, at least for a little while. On an interim basis until we get beyond this crisis and can make a decision for the future. In the meantime, I want to atone for what the Right Master and Lathan did. You're attuned to Arteum and have a connection to the Sigic Order now. The portal will always be open for you. Razumdar, remove your furry seat from our throne. After all Raz has done for Queen and Country, you would deny him this small comfort? Why Cousin Iren tolerates you, we'll never understand. Hmm. Raz could get used to such a seat. Metaphorically speaking, of course. This one would prefer a throne with far more padding. But enough of such talk. Today we celebrate your victory. From Raz thought of many different plans once he heard of this meeting. He is glad the first turned out so well. His other plans, well, there is no need to dwell on such unsavory details. Actually, Raz may have doubted you a few times, or many times, but he apologizes for that. After Raz did indeed. On behalf of Queen Irene, this is for you. Ironic how Somerset was saved by one of the newcomers it so distrusts. This is a good lesson for the High Elves, yes. Maybe now they'll realize that change is not so bad after all. Enjoy yourself, my friend. Raz certainly plans to. Our throne, Razumdar. 
We would have it back now. So tense, your majesty. Must be this uncomfortable throne. Perhaps Raz could suggest a most comfortable cushion upon which you could sit. Such a cushion is much too lumpy for our tastes, Cat. <laughs>